Yo, so I just got this package not too long ago. I had no idea where this was coming from. I didn't recognize the address. It was not the usual one, but with all the storms and stuff like that, I'm sure something had to do with the address change. But of course I have a package from Stylecraft. Have no idea what this is. And we're gonna go ahead and get into this unboxing. I'm just gonna go ahead and dive right into this. I got a few of the items that this thing came with out of the box, just to kind of talk about that briefly. But before I move on any further, I wanna really just say what my pros versus my cons are. It's definitely ergonomically friendly in hand. It feels great. Definitely going to be a hitter because the blade set on this looks official. It looks zeroed. It's balanced out just to kind of zoom in on that for y'all so y'all can see what I'm talking about definitely ready to go this is going to be hitting and with that being said i'm going to say my least favorite thing about it is the i believe this is a mini or micro usb charging port it's not usb c that's very unfortunate but you have your standard you know sc or gamma plus charging outlet there which fits pretty much in any pod that will allow this thing to sit up straight, it will get charged, or you can just directly charge it with the power cord. But anyway, I'm just gonna kinda slightly read off of the box in a moment before I get into that. This does come with an extra lid cover just to see the opening. This is a clear version, which where the X is right here, you could remove that and have it be clear. And uh, this of course is the USB micro is a micro USB charger. I'm not really too excited about that. This might be, you know, just for the prototype, I would hope, because I just got a sample in, and I hope that they'll probably switch that up for the next one, which I highly doubt. But that's very unfortunate that they did this. I, I, I need most of all the trimmers and clippers to be up to speed with what we're moving forward with when it comes to charging, in my opinion. But that's just the only downside for real. You got your, your brush, you got your extra little oil, the screws, and you have a cam follower in there. Other than that, they have the Zero Gap 2 from Gamma Plus. This is the Universal Zero Gap 2. So, yeah, you need to, and uh, it's officially called the Blade Setter. They need to put this out as a spare part because I know a lot of people that want this and the sooner they get that out, they're going to make a lot of money off of this for sure from many different brands or people that use different brands are going to be copying this, I know for a fact. But some of the specs on this thing, of course you have a black diamond carbon DLC blade, a high power vector motor, and you have a adjustable zero gap blade, of course. You have a four hour cordless runtime, lithium ion battery, micro USB charger, no go. <laughs> Anyways, this is 8,500 RPM and it is absor it, it says absorb and dampen sound and vibration. So this is how this sounds. I put it next to the mic. A little loud, but not too bad. Sounds powerful, which I'm excited for. Then you have a modular capable, you know, the custom lids. You have two different lids. You have a white and you have a red, of course, in there. I was thinking about doing the red, but I'll keep it with the black for now. I like how the black looks. Anyway, let's do some cutting, y'all. Let's see what this thing can do. Okay, so off the rip, one thing I have to let be known is that this thing is cutting. It is on point. There's just one thing that is slightly off about the blade set. It's cutting a lot sharper and better on the right side versus the left side of the blade is not balanced 
properly. It's still doing what it needs to do, but it's just not on point. But I'm going to go ahead and show a few haircuts that I did through the week after I had did the unboxing. I wasn't able to get the best footage on the day of the unboxing. A lot of the clients that I had in that day of the unboxing, of course, were very chatty, a lot of movement, very flamboyant, loud personalities. You know what I'm saying? Very into their conversation i mean passionate with it but this thing is definitely a hitter it's one of those trimmers that if you are more on the old school side of things if you like those magnetic style motors this is for you for sure it's not heavy it's not too light it's definitely just right on the weight side of things i'm very impressed as you can see the lineup on my man's is definitely in there all i need to do now is do some details it doesn't really pull or scrape or scratch or anything like that this thing is just doing what it needs to and that is a bonus that is what all of us barbers are looking for when it comes to quality you need something that's going to be able to set up the lineup properly so that way when it comes down to you doing the razor detail work you are on point and i really don't even need the razor to be honest that thing was definitely on point it got everything set in properly but as you can see very symmetrical very sharp clean it's comfortable even on the eyebrows just to make sure that my man gets his slits that he likes on each side he likes the double slit so i detailed that in there for him and i had a happy client no problem i did have to use this quite a bit just to kind of get the hang of that blade set not being completely balanced all the way but i didn't want to adjust it which i should have but I wanted y'all to see what this thing performs like straight out of the box. And all I'm going to have to do is go ahead and adjust this thing slightly so I can make sure that things are on point. This is my wife. Uh, for those of you who know, I usually do cut her hair for her. I ended up doing this bob, which she ended up getting rid of. This was like some tracks that she had in or something like that. Her hair is pretty much about this long that's the crazy part she's got really long hair and she makes me trim it a lot of times but this time around she wanted me to go ahead and do a bob style haircut for her which to her was a disaster i think it looked great i didn't really do the best job i will admit but just for demonstration purposes i'm gonna go ahead and let this thing run just so y'all can see how sharp and precise this thing really is it was eaten right through all of this i made a few passes just to make sure that everything was balanced out but definitely you know this track situation or quick weave rather was very much so a disaster according to her she didn't like it as soon as she left the chair got home she pulled that stuff right out anyway as you can see this thing's definitely sharp bob looks good she didn't want me to show this footage but i just went ahead and uploaded this anyway or added it to this video just so y'all can see that this thing is official i didn't show her face because she was claiming she wasn't ready for the camera whatsoever but yeah that's that and my man's gabe of course had him right as usual this thing was definitely his best friend it worked amazing on him it did leave a few hairs behind which i noticed after looking back at this footage obviously which it's not a bad situation at all it's just if i would have made a few more passes it would have been great but now that i know the fact that i needed to of course adjust the blade set i'm going to go ahead and set that up later i'll probably go live while i do the blade set and make sure that y'all see how that thing needs to be done properly no matter what blade set it is you have to make sure it's balanced out as long as it's not dangerous and cutting people up you'll be fine but i will definitely go live it might be on instagram tiktok or the of course youtube i've never really done a live youtube so i'll probably end up doing that which would be awesome it'll be a great look just for me to kind of segue into my live footage or live content when it comes to youtube so y'all stay tuned for that i'm just going to keep on letting this thing rock i'm going to get into some footage that's going to jump into like week two and a little bit of three like i said i didn't get the most footage it's been very difficult for me to get a lot of my content in lately 
just because I've been really busy and I have a little bit of a transition going on in my life right now, which is a story for another time. Y'all stay tuned for that. It's just been very, very busy on my end. So I had to make sure that I grabbed enough footage just so y'all can see what this thing can do. And it had my man's pretty much prepped and ready to go for a razor detail. Speaking of a razor detail, this footage I will re-upload just to make sure that I do a voiceover. Stay tuned for that. It will go on the IG. It might go on the YouTube. It's going to be showing my finger placement, how to stretch the skin, where to place your fingers, especially when it comes to stretching on the temple area, on the frontal, on the sides, whatever the case, you know, by the vertical bars, the forehead straight away, you name it. I'm going to make sure that y'all know how to push, you know, on the socket area or the orbit orbital area of the eyebrow and eye socket i'm going to make sure that y'all know what it is with the detailing part with the razor because this is something i know a lot of you struggle with especially the beginner barbers y'all stay tuned i did do a short version of this on ig just look out for that it was on a ball fade for a younger younger gentleman that i did do some demonstrations on how to stretch the skin or non stretching so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and just run some live footage or not even live footage but just real-time footage of what this trimmer looks like when detailing a lineup so in this case my man's came back in for a touch-up so it's gonna be pretty much easy money right here it's too easy when it comes to the details on this and I got my man's pretty much all the way straight and this is his first time rocking braids so y'all don't climb a man so he has no hang time he's just coming around to this style so you know it's a new thing for him he's just being acquainted into the braid world so you know give him some slack you know you got the old bobby g johnson joints going on if y'all know who that is if you know you know you know what i'm saying <laughs> but yeah these things are definitely monsters you can't go wrong Stylecraft definitely always follows through. If you've tried out the different instinct trimmers, you know how those things get down. That's probably one of the best trimmers that Stylecraft put out. So they definitely have followed through with the Instinct X metal trimmer, which definitely delivers. I mean, look at this. If you thought he was still crispy from his last cut, he came in for the touch up and this thing set it off all the way. What I love about this trimmer is it always has given a enhanced look to whoever sits in the chair, which I appreciate a lot, especially depending on how well you cut the hair down to prep it for the lineup. This thing definitely looks enhanced. On most of all the clients that sat down, this thing had them looking right all the way, 100% no exaggeration i mean you see it for yourself right now in real time this thing is definitely working and i think at the end of the day it all comes down to the blade set the blade set that is on this thing is your standard sc blade which i'm not really sure if they're starting to change up a little bit of what they're doing but this is a dlc fixed diamond cut wide blade of course and it has the one cutter on it so if you know you know if you're not familiar you need to get on it and stop messing around with those weak blades out there no shade on any companies but in my opinion i'm 100 percent i'm 150 percent i'm 200 percent sold with the stylecraft and out plus platform they have made cutting easy and fun of course if you know you know if you don't know you better act like you know because you need to get on this wave asap but yeah i mean look at this a man's is super fresh super clean and i didn't do any holding spray on him by the way this is just him after getting the braids done i think that might have been most that may have been just kind of um left over from his braid service or you know they usually do this neck strip or the black strip that the braiders or locticians usually place around your 
forehead or the edge of your lineup where it helps to keep everything flat and laid. So could be in the case, but it definitely helped out a lot tremendously as far as setting that hair and prepping it really for the lineup. So this lineup really turned out very, very awesome as you can see. And of course, as you can see, this thing is definitely doing its job. I will highly recommend that when this thing drops to go ahead and get it because some people always hit me up and say, yo, is that really worth it? Are you really just hyping it up? No, I'm not hyping it up. It doesn't matter what you even purchase or get from SE or Gamma, they will make sure that you are taken care of. It's all about what you prefer to use on the ergonomic side of things, as well as the tier of the tool, as in how much you're willing to spend. Most people don't want to spend a lot. They always want to save money, which is crazy because there's no such thing as saving when it comes to the quality of work that you're going to be producing. So you have to make sure that whatever it is that you are wanting to use as far as tools to work with you have to do some research you have to do some homework if you know a friend that has the tools or items use it otherwise get on these videos and watch them throughout or through the whole entire duration if you don't really understand or really are sold from what i'm telling you comment if you don't comment dm me on my different platforms you can reach me on my personal work phone number you know literally you can text me you can call me whatever i literally do respond so we can talk about whatever it is that you're searching for no problem you know so definitely stay tuned for when this thing drops november it is retailed at a little bit somewhere around let's see I think this thing is retailed at 270 if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick Google search for y'all just so y'all can have this noted and have a better idea before you even decide to make your purchase because I'm sold. This is probably one of my go-tos right now. I've been using it almost a month now and I'm definitely enjoying this thing. And I definitely overshot that price. It is retailed at $229.95. So, y'all definitely go ahead and look for that. Um, not going to try to shove this thing down your throats, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to grab it. If that's too pricey, you can definitely fall back on it. There's other trimmers that you can get out there, like the Ergo, for example. You can get the Sabre, no problem. You can get the Flex, no problem. And my personal favorite, the Cyborg. But right now my lineup actually consists of the Stylecraft Protégé Trimmer, Stylecraft Protégé Clipper. I have the Gamma Plus Boosted Clipper, the Sabre Precision, and I have the Stylecraft Instinct, and of course I have the Saber 2 Clipper on deck. That's my lineup right now, so I've been using those a whole lot compared to anything else. But don't get me wrong, that Gamma Cyborg always comes out when it's needed, and I can't even front, but as you can see, this thing here, the Stylecraft Instinct X is definitely no match for anything that is in its path. It's going to absolutely cut no matter what. And I hope I say that right. Nothing stands a chance is what I'm pretty much trying to relay to y'all. Nothing at all. I mean, when it comes to removing hair, you know, moving bulk, setting your guidelines in, this is your trimmer. It will board out that vector motor is so powerful to the point where you're not ever going to worry about things getting stuck or snagging, you know. As long as you keep that battery charged or, you know, powered up enough to where it's able to do its job, you'll be just fine. But I haven't had any battery issues just yet. 
nothing that I've really noticed, you know what I'm saying? It's doing very well. It's just like the Saber Clipper. Some people were having an issue with, you know, the Saber Clipper from what I've been hearing, but, you know, people always forget sometimes you just have to know the blade, understand the blade. It's not really much of a fight there. It's just a matter of knowing what to do exactly when you are working with different textures because everything's not going to work for everybody. But this is one of the trimmers that I know that is great on coarse hair. I know I didn't put that much coarse hair in this video, but if you did notice, there's some people that do have coarse hair in this video that this thing was able to handle no problem when it comes to straight hair, no problem. There is one client that I had a little bit of an issue with this trimmer on and they have more of a blonde or brown texture or uh, type of uh, colored hair. And it was kind of difficult at first until I understood how to angle it and really get that blade to do its job. So no snagging whatsoever. It was just kind of a challenge. So yeah. Yo, so before I move any further, I had to run it back with my mans right here. In this little pop-up video, this is some of the tools that I used to get this haircut done. So for those of you who are not familiar, you just kind of will get a quick breakdown at the end of the video for this review. Just talking about my starting lineup, you know what I'm saying? Because these tools that SC and Stylecraft have will amaze you when you try them out it will blow your mind completely and i just had to run it back for y'all because this is crazy he went from a whole afro on the sides of his head around the lineup and all that to this amazing craftsmanship i mean how easy it was to cut this down is crazy and these videos don't even do enough justice for how great these haircuts truly look like in person or in the reality with the naked eye, for example, because you will be surprised how many people actually convert over to these tools after they see my work leaving out of my suite, you know, from barbers to just, you know, even clients that do their own haircuts, you know, are always asking me. You know, the ones that especially like to do their touch ups in between haircuts always ask, hey, what are you using? What is that? You know, the ones that cut their kids hair at home and don't, you know, really care too much for a barbershop detail. You know, they always ask me and I recommend them. You know, they use my code, all that good stuff, which is dope. Or you can also get a lot of these tools that I use on my Amazon storefront. I'm working on trying to see if the TikTok shop will allow me to do that because, yo, if you're sleeping or not familiar with what SC and Gamma Plus is doing, you need to get on it ASAP. But this is the client that I will be showing y'all last. I believe this might be one of my last few clips unless I'm lying. His texture was a little challenging with the lineup for the instinct but it wasn't too bad after i got the hang of how to angle the blade set but this just means that that adjustment that i have to do needs to be done because as great as this looked it was kind of a fight to get it right but it looked great nothing stood a chance with this trimmer but yeah y'all definitely get this when it drops use discount code j exquisite to get yours asap and of course i had to run it back for y'all real quick these are some of the best tools that Gamma Plus and Stylecraft have to offer on the market. I have, of course, what we just witnessed with the lineups for the most part was the Instinct X by Stylecraft. Definitely shop for that with discount code JXQUISITE at the checkout directly on the website from Stylecraft. They got you covered, but this is the best shaver in the game right now next to that Rebel, in my opinion. But the Sabre Precision, for those of you who are not very familiar, you need to get on it. You know what I'm saying? Like this thing is a force to be reckoned with. The Precision blade on the Sabre is probably the softest and the best that you can use for any skin type. And it's a great compatible trimmer with the Sabre 2, in my opinion. And yo, I mean, this is just all heat. You know what I'm saying? Gamma boosted. 
trimmer amazing the cyborg clipper and the cyborg trimmer yo like what are we talking about you know what i'm saying then we have my protege trimmer and clipper both swapped with the diamond cut blade sets if you know you know i had these in pink but i recently just swapped the lids on this just to keep it uniform you know what i'm saying and one more clipper you know saving the best for the last this is one of my favorite clippers of all time if you don't have this in your arsenal it's not even about an arsenal it's not even about a collection you need to have this clipper because it cuts through any type of texture bulk whatever it is this thing is cutting it's a little loud but you know it's a torque motor so what you expect you know what i mean like you can't go wrong with the boosted clipper like this thing snaps you know what i'm saying so you know cop it yo for real like no kidding around but anyway that's that for now i will catch y'all on the next one